I don't know who needs to hear this, but sometimes it's in a European's dream to meet an American and tell us how much they don't like America. Yup! And it's about damn time we start having this conversation! Europeans and Australians don't hate America, they're obsessed with it! Because they talk about America more than they talk about their own damn country! I'm honestly convinced America's the dumbest country in the world. Like, why do you call petrol gas when it is literally a liquid? Oh, I don't know, man. Um, maybe because it's an abbreviation of the word gasoline. They obviously aren't referring to a state of matter. Australians call it petrol, and that's just short for petroleum. So if we can abbreviate words, why can't they? And then you go out there and you make up these niche sports which no one else in the world plays and you call your winners world champions. Also, alongside Liberia and Myanmar, you're one of only three countries in the world which use the imperial system who also coincidentally don't have their shit together. Grow up. You want to tell Americans to grow up when you're the one sitting there whining and whinging about how a country does things a little bit differently to you. But you know what I find hilarious? When anybody gets asked what our height is in Australia, most of us will say this. Oh, I'm five foot four inches. Never will you hear anybody say, oh, I'm 163 centimeters. So what now? When you are an European living in California and refuse to use the car to go everywhere. When did y'all start acting like pick-me's because of the way that people choose to transport themselves from A to B? Do you want me to give you a cookie and a gold medal because you chose to walk instead of drive a car? This traffic light takes 10 minutes to go green. And when it does, I have 30 seconds to cross the road. I will not give up on my walks to places. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it takes a little bit longer because you're waiting to cross what is obviously a main road and not just a local street. Clearly, the wait is going to be just a little bit longer than it would be in a more quiet neighborhood. If you can't cross that distance in 30 seconds, that's a skill issue, unfortunately. The European urge to walk absolutely everywhere, even in a country that was built for cars. Oh, is that why you're walking on a sidewalk? <laughs> the weird looks I get every time. Why do you guys think Americans care so much about you walking? They don't. You're not getting weird looks because you're walking. You're getting weird looks because you're filming yourself like this in public. Context clues are important here, babe. People in the US selling yourself, talking about achievements, salaries, career milestones. But people in Europe never even ask where you work. They're all about personality and charisma. As someone who has been to the US, Five times, I can confidently say that within the hundreds of Americans that I had conversations with, not a single one of them ever mentioned their salary. You just made that up! You can't generalize a country of almost 350 million people because of a bad conversation you had with one person. But secondly, since when did it become a bad thing to talk about your achievements? Are people just not allowed to be proud of the milestones they've made in their career anymore? Talking to friends back in the US is such a bizarre experience. They just talk about work and new gadgets they've bought. That's what happens when you're an adult. Your life basically revolves around your work. So of course you're going to have conversations about it with other people. But also, oh no, God forbid somebody wants to bring up a new gadget they've bought recently as a conversation starter. If you've bought an air fryer, I want to hear all about the crazy concoctions you've made in that thing. You made toasted ravioli in that air fryer? Damn! I have never heard of that. Was it good? Do you think I would like it? What else have you tried? I'm all ears! Why do you hate fun? How Europeans drink coffee, and then she says that versus how Americans do it while getting dressed to go and get Starbucks, because apparently everyone has time in their day to spend 15 to 20 minutes making a cup of coffee in the morning. You wanna know a fun fact? Um, there's over a thousand Starbucks cafes across Europe. Clearly, hot drinks to go, especially those from Starbucks, 
dogs are just as popular in Europe as they are in America. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there, would they? Who cares if somebody makes it at home or if they buy it from a cafe? <laughs> What's going on? What is the problem here? Seriously, I am struggling to see what the problem is. The people around you look like they're all having fun chatting with each other and dancing. You are the ones stinking up the room with your horrible vibes. What? <laughs> because they're not passing around Molly to each other, suddenly it's boring? You're at a bar. You're not at a club or a rave. Clearly there's going to be a difference. Oh, <laughs> and also, I feel like you purposely didn't include the fact that you were there on a huh? Sunday, more specifically, Mother's Day of that year. What were you expecting? That's your fault. So freaking shit. <laughs> she goes, no. So obviously, she ordered a sandwich. And the waitress brought out a tiny bread roll with absolutely nothing inside. And the responses from Europeans on this video were so annoying. <laughs> American portions versus most other parts of the world. Um, these are normal food sizes in the rest of the world. Oh my god, shut the hell up! That is a small ass bread roll. That is gonna do nothing but make you hungrier than you were before. And they ordered it to share. What the hell are they gonna do with that? Split it in half so they get one bite of bread each? There are big portions everywhere and it's about damn time y'all start knowing that. And for the comment that pissed me off the most. <gasps> I would not be able to eat more than that. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You're a f***ing adult. It's about damn time you start acting like one. Wow, you guys seem like a bundle of joy, don't you? If you prefer to sit in silence and not interact with each other like you're clearly doing, then maybe the cinemas would be a more appropriate environment for you guys to hang out. Because I'd agree with you there. But you're at a restaurant where people go to talk and catch up and have fun with each other. Are you just jealous because they're clearly having a better night than you are? This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art. But this, this is bullshit. Okay, now y'all are just being dumb on purpose. If you want garlic bread, you know what you have to do? Ask for garlic bread. You don't have to get breadsticks. Oh, just like if you want a crepe, then ask for a crepe. Nobody's forcing you at gunpoint to get pancakes. Those foods exist in America too, you know. <sighs> now we have another one of these stupid ass slideshows of Europeans acting like they were born yesterday in American supermarkets. <laughs> um, an entire crate of vitamin water? Yeah, so, um, I don't know if you know this because clearly your prehistoric ass is stuck in 17 BC. But usually, a food or a drink company will produce mass amounts of their product so a wide variety of people can buy it. That happens everywhere. Are you just expecting them to make one singular bottle at a time? Why would anyone buy this? What, a taco kit? The world has had taco kits on shelves for almost an entire century now. Jesus Christ, it comes with a few shells, some taco seasoning, and some sauce. Why are you losing your mind? It's just convenient. <laughs> Red 40 products are banned where I'm from. Oh, right. Is that why the European Union deems it safe for consumption? Okay, <laughs> yeah. That's suspicious. That's weird. What's that one quote again? They hate us cause they ain't us? I think that's what it is. I... 
Might have to fact check that, I'm not sure. Lastly, it's clear that some Europeans and Australians just want to hate America so much that they don't even try to bother to learn or to understand as to why there are some aspects about America that are different from them. I want to know what is up with eggs in America. Like, why do they look like that? They have so many questions. One, why are they white? Type of chicken. How do they make them white? We don't. It's just the type of chicken. Assuming the chickens aren't like different there or something. Something funky is going on. Make them look like this. There is nothing wrong with the chicken. It is not less healthy. It's all a scam. White eggs are not superior over brown eggs the same way brown eggs are not superior over white eggs. So what is wrong with the normal spotty chicken bum egg? Nothing is wrong. We're not actively scared of brown eggs. Remember, Australia and America are on two different parts of the world. Of course, some things are not going to be exactly the same. Like, Google is free. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!